Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Disgusting video of Oprah comes back to haunt her after calling for them to all die in order to fix racism. There is a video where Oprah was in the UK promoting her film, The Butler, in which she plays Gloria Gaines, wife of a White House butler, and she spoke to BBC's Will Gompertz about racism. Oprah is an entertainer, but she's always been somewhat of a political pundit. She wholeheartedly supported the Obamas and their spreading of racial divisiveness in this country. Before that, racism was pretty much a moot point in America. But then came the Obamas and Oprah, who gave up her talk show and traded it for a giant race card. No one ever talks about that and now she is eyeing the presidency herself. When talking about racism, she was filmed saying that old racist white people just have to de to fix racism. Oprah attended the same church as Obama, headed by Jeremiah Wright, who is an anti-Semite and a consummate racist. They adhere to black liberation theology, which is a mix of racism, Marxism and what they call Christianity. Other than that, Oprah knew little about Obama except for his radical community organizing skills. Nevertheless, she promoted him all the way with her viewers for the presidency and it worked. One wonders why Oprah was so passionate about Obama, unless of course it was simply a matter of race in electing the first black president. Obama had a terrible and short track record as a junior senator from Oprah's home state of Illinois. Oprah and Obama both support abortion among a number of other uber-progressive issues. No one asked Oprah what her stance was on the issues, but they should have. They should have gotten her on record for it. Because of Oprah's stature as a celebrity and the fact that she's worth over $3.2 billion, she is a formidable weapon politically for the Democrats. After a week where Roseanne fell from grace after a perceived racist tweet, getting her fired and her hit show cancelled, you would think many more may have heard of the Oprah video. Some still have not. This video is very telling for Oprah, and at the end, you can hear the hatred in her voice, something most people have never heard. Not only was Oprah's comment racist, but it also incited violence and she didn't have to answer for it. Here's the quote from Oprah in the video. Of course the problem, of racism, is not solved, as long as there are people who still, there's a whole generation, I say this, you know, I said this, you know, for apartheid, South Africa, I said this for my own, you know, for my own community in the South, there are still generations of people, older people, who were born and bred and marinated in it, in that prejudice and racism and they just have to de. She does Louis Farrakhan proud, doesn't she? Pulitzer Prize-nominated journalist Gregory Kane wrote more about the topic. In one quick, thoughtless breath, Oprah added another tenet to LibThink, not only are all racists white, but they also need to just de. every last one of them. Once all those old, white racists who were born and bred and marinated in it have died, then America will be forever purged of racism. Make that white racism, and remember, According to LibThink Doctrine, that's the only racism worth mentioning. The racism that blacks might hold for non-blacks, that Latinos might hold for non-Latinos and that Asians might hold for non-Asians won't go away of course, no matter how much adherents of LibThink Doctrine might wish it were so. There will continue to be the attacks that black thugs make against white victims, some of which, if not all, have to be at least partially motivated by race. That black versus Latino racist conflict won't end after all those old white folks bred and marinated in racism de. Said conflict has been going on for years. You might have seen an episode about it on Oprah's show when it was on the air. What's that? You never heard about what happened to Cheryl Green on Oprah's show? Well, there might be a reason for that. Oprah, her brain steeped in limp think as it is, probably didn't figure this tale of Latino on black violence was worth doing a show about. Green was only 14 years old when a Latino gang member fatally shot her in the Harbor Gateway area of Los Angeles on December 15, 2006. Four years later, Jonathan Fajardo was found guilty of Green's MR. He was also found guilty of a hate crime, which means Green's MR was racially motivated. This wasn't a MR carried out by some old, bred and marinated in racism white person Oprah holds in such disdain. At the time of Green's MR, Fajardo, a Latino man, was only 18 years old. So Oprah's notion that racism is the exclusive worldview of the old and the white appears to be utter nonsense. In that interview, Oprah was allowed to skate on her racism because of the interviewer-associated victimhood with race. When the BBC correspondent asked Oprah if she felt that racism was the reason some Americans opposed Obama and his policies, she, of course, said yes. In reality, it was his Marxism that turned Americans away. Turns out the two had everything in common in the end. 
While Oprah was decrying apartheid in South Africa and calling for an end to genocide, she was also pushing for the MR of white people. Please note, fact checkers may try to turn this story around in hopes to protect Oprah. It's wise for readers to make their own judgment based on watching the video. Think for yourself and believe whatever you wish after watching her interview. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.